Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Real Clear Politics Takeaway for Tuesday, January 18th. I'm Tom Bevan, co-founder and president of RCP. Joins today by Pete Hegseth, who is host of Fox and Friends Weekend and the uh, who's producing a new special for Fox Nation called The Miseducation of America. Pete, great to have you with us. Tom, great to see you again, as always. All right. So uh, give our viewers a sense of, of what's going to happen here. It's a five-part series on covering what exactly? Covering, uh, to, to lay it out there, it is the 100-year progressive takeover of America's classrooms and, and curriculum. And what if folks aren't familiar with Fox Nation, it's the Fox News streaming service. And it's the place where uh, folks like me can explore topics I'm really passionate about. So I've done a lot of stuff with vets. I've done a lot of stuff in Israel. Uh, and I've always been passionate about how we educate the next generation, and especially with a bunch of young kids myself. And so we, we over the course of over a year with uh, some great producers, held you know, dozens of interviews, and we just wanted to get to the very bottom of when you see critical race theory, when you see gender identity, when you see um, – activism in the classroom, where does that come from? And I guess my earliest assumption was that's just a product of the 60s, some radical professors, and then it just kind of got worse. When you dig down into the actual history of what the progressives removed from the classroom, how intentionally they focused on education, uh, you start to get a sense of how the 1619 project emerges or critical race theory emerges or all the things we see now, which parents are, are, are aghast about are not accidents, and they're part of a specific educational approach the progressives took. And this film, Over Five Parts, is meant to kind of unpack how we got here, and then at the end, tell parents and grandparents, here's something you can do about it. It does seem, though, Pete, uh, that you know things have accelerated. And part of that is, I think, as you mentioned, you had an op-ed on foxnews.com this morning uh, that you know parents really got a glimpse under the hood during COVID when kids were learning online yeah. at home and Parents were seeing exactly watching the teachers teach, seeing the the instruction plans and things of that nature. And it accelerated over, uh, you know, during the summer after George Floyd's uh, murder in Minneapolis and this whole push. So it seems like it I, while it may have been a, a long time coming, it seems to have really accelerated here just in the past couple of years. Very much so. I think part of that is the glimpse that parents got looking over the shoulder of their kids in the Zoom classroom with the textbooks being at home instead of in the classroom. And they said, what in the world is this? It's also a product of progressives believing they're in the activist phase, right? They're sort of out in the open that before it was bias and then it was agenda. And yes, they were pushing you know, social emotional learning or values free curriculum or common core, neatly coded language that um, teachers and administrators understood, but parents were sort of like, oh, okay, as long as you're teaching them math and English, then I got whatever that funny business stuff is, don't worry about it. Now they're in full out activism of if you're white, you're inherently uh, privileged and an oppressor. And if you're black, you're inherently a victim and oppressed. And our founding date is not 1776, it's 1619. And the statues, they need to come down. And there is no boy and there is no girl. And they're just out because they can. And why are they so aggressive about it? It's because they control every single lever. And that's what the, I learned in the film, too. I mean, we always knew teachers unions are powerful. We do know that. But the pipeline they control from teachers colleges to curriculums to standards to tests to who becomes a teacher to what is taught to the method of teaching. School boards are mostly all controlled by unions. That's who they get elected to those school boards. So when you see parents at at, at school board meetings, protesting, we need a change. They're usually protesting right at the very advocates they want um, that, are, that are pushing the things that they don't like. I call it uh, parents trying to charge a machine gun nest with Nerf guns. Uh, we feel good about it, but it's not going to work because the left controls every aspect of the government school system. And frankly, Tom, lest your, your listeners think this is just a public school thing, this is a private school thing. This is an elite school thing. This is most Catholic school thing. The methodology of teaching is a progressive methodology in America today because of what progressives did 100 years ago, from the Pledge of Allegiance, which originally didn't say under God, to the seven class periods, to ideas like social studies, to the bell ringing. Um, all, all of the, the, the methodology of teaching is progressive. And so it shouldn't surprise us now that it's become an agenda with, with what we're seeing in the curriculum. Well, I know you said uh, that you're going to spend some time on solutions. And we have seen, you know, last year, year before, 
uh, we saw school board elections in my community and communities all around this country become hotly contested for the first time that I can remember where you had parents, you know, we had, we had uh, yard signs up all over the place. I mean, this was a, a hotly contested thing. Um, so without stealing your thunder and giving, you know, <laughs> plot spoilers, sure. um, what, what, what are the solutions? I mean, if you correctly diagnose the problem, what are the solutions that, that, can, uh, that can change the issue? So whether it's your community or Loudoun County, seeing parents wake up to how important school boards are is super important. And it's really heartening to see. And, and, and I love it. And I do think it is part of the solution. But I do, I use in the, in the film uh, the analogy of my mom, who also protested in front of school boards uh, against values-free curriculum in the late 80s and early 90s. And it was great. She got me pulled out of that particular part of the class day. And on a field trip they took, I took a different field trip where we went to different historical sites in Minnesota. And a couple of other parents joined, but not many. So ultimately, my life was changed, but the curriculum didn't change. Forest Lake Public High School and Elementary School went right on with what it was doing and continues to go. I think protests are great. I think replacing the school board is really important. And I do think that can have an impact. But in reality, the train is already screaming down the tracks and parents trying to protest to stop it isn't going to change the trajectory of that. My my overall salute, hope for this film is, first of all, to raise awareness and, and shake people, because I think what you know, the old adage in Congress, I, I, I can't stand Congress, but I, but I love my congressman. Right. He's great. Uh, it's that same adage with schools. I know education's messed up, but, but my school's good. I mean, I, I know the principal. He's a nice guy. He's a patriotic. I, I know some teachers. They're even Christians. You know, uh, no, 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 no. It's your school too. And even if you pay a lot of property taxes, even if you pay private school tuition, unless very intentionally, it's a classical or a classically Christian or cast, classically Catholic school. You are not getting the actual type of education that built this country, and with updates, obviously, to 2022. But the, the the classical method of teaching critical thinking and a real liberal arts education is mostly stripped out of most schools. So I, we try to lay out the parameters of what kind of schooling that looks like, and argue for a radical reorientation for parents that you consider finding those types of school for your kids. That you leave the government school, leave them. There is nothing in. The, why do you want to spend? your day at home deprogramming from an institution that taught your kids something you don't believe. It, it, considering our job as parents is to prepare our kids for the world, why are we protesting at school board meetings? Shouldn't the schools reflect the values we care about and the things that hold up our country? They don't. So uh, it, it may seem stark, but the argument we make is leave. Uh, the public schools have, have failed, not just in academic standards, which is obvious, but in the formation of free thinkers, and right now they've turned into indoctrination camps. And uh, if you have the resources, do so. If you need to homeschool, do so. If you can find a charter school, do so. If you can find another school that reflects your values, do so. Uh, there's internet options. There are learning pods. There's a lot of things that have come since 2020 and COVID as well. So there are different options as to what that looks like. But just hoping you can protest at your school, uh, in my in our opinion is not not going to get it done. All right. So give our, our viewers, where, where can we find this? When's it going to air? Fox Nation. Uh, it's foxnation.com. You can download the Fox Nation app. It's exclusively at Fox Nation. It's, again, it's like the Netflix for conservatives. It's, it's the Fox News streaming service. It comes out today, January 18th. It's out right now, all five parts. It's 25 minutes per episode, so very digestible. It moves quickly. Uh, and if you just want to check it out, you can use the promo code classroom uh, right now and you get a 90 day free subscription of Fox Nation. So promo code classroom, 90 days free, plenty of time to watch this and everything else and get a sense of, uh, of what you think about it. So really appreciate, Tom, the opportunity to plug this. Stuff. Absolutely. Thanks for your time today. Pete Hegseth, uh, host of Fox and Friends Weekend and the new uh, series Miseducation of America on Fox Nation. I'm Tom Bevin, co-founder, president of Real Clear Politics. Thanks for joining The Takeaway this morning, Tuesday, January 18th. Thank you.